Getting started. There are a few things I'd like you to know before we get started learning Silent Night in American Sign Language or ASL. First of all, sign is a language. That means there are groups of people all over the world who use and communicate through sign as their first language. For some, it is the only language they know. Which means language evolves a little bit. In some places, if you want to order a, order a soda or a Coke, you might say, I'd like a pop, please. In other parts of the country, they use the term soda pop. In some parts of the country, all soda is referred to as a Coke. That's just one example about how language develops and how each community or region develops its own dialect. So for this version of Silent Night in ASL, I have gone next door to my neighbors who are deaf and ask them to teach me Silent Night in Sign Language. And these are the signs that they use for Silent Night. For example, there isn't a literal ASL word or sign for mild. I've looked it up and asked and there isn't a literal mild sign, at least not one that I've found in my local area amongst the deaf people that I know. So we will be using the sign gentle in place of mild throughout the song. That's one example about sign language. The other thing that you need to know about sign language is this right here. Your face will speak just as loudly as the signs that you sign. So much of what you mean can be communicated through your facial expressions. For example, for bright, you really want to make sure that your eyes open up and you get a bright smile on your face. This is not bright. Bright. That's one way that we need to use facial expressions to get our meaning across. The other thing I want you to know about sign language is that deaf people have their own deaf culture. And I feel it's very important that you respect their culture. You should not make fun of signs. You shouldn't use signs in mock or in teasing or making jokes about it. Because I feel like if somebody was deaf and if I was around my deaf friends and you were pretending to sign and mocking sign, I just find that disrespectful to the deaf community. So when we are working on sign language, we wanna try our best to learn the language and to honor the deaf culture and the deaf community by honoring their language. Well, that's just a few things I wanted you to know, so let's get started with Silent Night. <laughs> 